Today on Toy Shiz, a tale of two Luthors. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new Lex Luthor. Lex Luthors, really. This is the power suit Lex Luthor, his traditional greens and his purples, which most of us, especially me, would understand Lex Luthor wearing besides a power suit. But on the back, you get a interesting photo. I would say th this doesn't do a great job of showing it off. He's standing on a bunch of skulls. That's not Lex Luthor. Yeah, that is weird to me. Here's the barcode as well, if you want to screen grab that. And then you have the other Lex Luthor in the blue suit. <laughs> and this is also Lex Luthor in a power suit, if that's not confusing enough. But this one is from the Dark Side War. And this is a potential future where Lex got the whole thing. It doesn't come with the Mother Box Cube, by the way. That's a little thing that I wish they wouldn't put that in the photo if it doesn't come with the thing, because I spent a couple minutes thinking I had dropped it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, here's the barcode as well, if you want to go ahead and screen grab it. And like I said, New 52 or otherwise, this just looks like Lex Luthor in his purple and green power suit. So for me, and however it entails, it looks pretty good. The more apocalyptic armor from the Dark Side War Lex Luthor there's some, as you'll soon see, the, the sculpt is a little bit off for what you kind of see within the comic. So also some glowy effects. But yeah, this is when like that potential future, it's a very, it's a very odd comic. Lex Luthor should just be the purple and the green power suit. <laughs> but he does come with a chair, so this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, and maybe impress Lex Luthor in that business meeting, huh? You know, he's kind of a stickler for things. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Lex Luthors, plural, by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here they both are out of the packaging. Now, the blue Luthor, just to reiterate, comes with the chair. And then you have the good-looking purple and green Luthor that doesn't come with the chair. So that's how they gets you. But to start it off with the blue Luthor, he comes with a stand. And this, to be honest, is not a bad looking figure as I soon will show you. It's the same body with swapped out parts as the green and purple one. But on the back side of the figure, no paint at all. It's like they forgot to paint it. Something just to make it more cohesive because on the front, what little paint there is, we'll say, is kind of blotchy in some areas, more so on his gauntlets than anything. The front of the chest with the S and everything else looks good. The head sculpt is quite impressive. That's actually a really good looking head sculpt and it looks like, yeah, it comes right out of the comic book. He doesn't have the glowy parts of his suit and he doesn't have the spikes. It's close enough. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not gonna nitpick this one because it's just not a Lex Luthor that I'm all about. But in terms of the articulation, yeah, his head will rock to and fro. You get some nice articulation out of that. The upper diaphragm, the waist, actually crunches more than most McFarlane toys will just say. He kicks out. He can actually kick real high, right? He's like Emma Peel. And then he's got some double jointed knees. And both of these Luthors are very tough to stand because of those ball joints. And you're going to need the stand. That's another thing. But his little rubbery shoulder pieces will move with you if you want to put his arms all the way up. But the main gripe, if I have any, he's got little baby hands. And this applies to the green and the purple one as well. But yeah, he's got, they're, they're tiny looking. I don't know. They're just off. If they were just a little bit bigger because he's got little teeny tiny baby Luthor hands <laughs> on him. They wouldn't really work well. I mean, they hold stuff. So that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, the chair, right? So this is the thing I think everybody's going to want. This is very cool, and it fits with most 6-inch, 7-inch, 8-inch figures, as I'll soon show you. Very plasticky piece, but the front is all you need, and it looks great, because when you take old dark sidey whatever, future Luthor, and you get him all into position, right? You got to do it right, take your time. You put him right in the chair, and bingo, bango, you know, get him all situated, put the legs on the ground, cock his head a little bit. He's cocky sitting in his big old throne. That looks pretty cool. And you can zoom him around like Metron if you wanted to do that as well. But yeah, very happy with the throne. The throne makes this. I mean, you can have him contemplating. Like, oh, should I rule next? You know what I mean? I've conquered everything. What's next for me? Now, with the purple and the green power suit Lex Luthor, it doesn't come with a throne, but he comes with a pair of hands. With a bigger type hand than the other hands, 
He also comes with a stand as well. But yeah, the, the more outstretched hand is the bigger hand. Go figure. The head sculpt, the head portrait looks amazing. That's Lex Luthor right there. Has a lot more paint than Superboy Prime and looks more authentic to human flesh. But he's always looking over to the side. And that's something they've started doing. I've noticed that with Superboy and now this. I do not like that. I <laughs> don't do that no more. It just looks weird. Like he's off. Like what's over there? Like he's kind of like usher me. Like, hey, it's, it's going on over there. Then, you know, he's trying to follow around the room. Straight ahead. Otherwise, it just looks weird. It just look, it looks like they're wrong. You know what I mean? It doesn't look intentional, but it seems to be intentional. Now, the power suit has minimal paint, but very nice paint aspects to it. I'd say a lot more paint than the blue one. But as you can see, what parts they've reused, how they've changed the armor in some ways. It's very minimally changed, obviously different head portrait. But yeah, a lot more going on in the back, even though largely it's just green and purple armor, plastic. But the head, once again, kind of like the three Jokers, a lot more detailed than the suit. But I think the greens and the purples Luthor, he definitely fares a little bit better when comparing them. And I would say, in all honesty, he looks a lot better in the throne. That's just more Lex Luthor to me. You would think, yeah, okay, I conquered Apocalypse. I'm going to take this chair or just have a throne in general. I just think he looks all power mad and very cool. You can set him up with all kinds of different accessories. Get a wine in the cheese plate kind of thing going on with a, a drink, <laughs> adult Luthor beverage, whatever. Or he's playing with Batman Returns, having a cup of coffee. I don't know. You figure it out. But hey, nothing's better than finding the entire wave at the store and coming home and being like, yes, I am all that is man. We're sad peoples. In terms of the scalature, now, he is a little bit taller than this Sunsoft Superman that I really like. However, because he's in a power suit, I actually think that that works really well. I think I could definitely handle that. That looks very cool. He's around the, almost the same size as this new clown Joker, but I think that that scaling works too because the Joker is still shorter. Superboy Prime, because he's a taller figure, yeah, he's right around the same height as Luthor, which... Again, I just think Superboy Prime is a little bit too tall. With the blue dark side Superman sitting in that throne, a dead Superman right at his feet, that's cool. So they both look good, but I just think the purples and the greens Luthor fares better. Now you're probably wondering, hey, does that uh, Snyder Cut dark side fit on the throne? You know, in terms of him standing next to it, it doesn't look too shabby. But because of the articulation, he's a larger figure. He really doesn't fit. I'm sure that you could finagle it and get him, but I just don't think it's going to work for you. He's entirely too big for the throne. But if you got previous, let's say, dark side figures, DC Multiverse, this one, he won't be able to sit down because of his skirt piece and articulation and all that. So in many ways, yeah, it's kind of just like putting it in terms of the background piece for other dark side figures. And then you have the Mattel version that actually came with two heads. You got the Luthor and you got the dark side version of this head portrait. This armor, I like it a whole lot better than this one. I mean, it's more sculpted, more detailed out. But I think the Mattel one just looks a little bit cleaner. And he came with the cape, which is not necessarily something that this one's missing because Luthor has the cape. Uh, this one doesn't technically, but you can finagle it. And it looks cool. So yeah, Luthor itself, when he's in the suit has the cape, but then the whole dark side aspect of Lex Luthor doesn't, but I really think that that would have been something to add to this figure, even though it's not comics accurate in that sense. I mean, if you wanted to, you could take this cape and you could definitely make it work for your Lex Luthor. And yes, for all those wondering, these are actually able to head swap. They actually came off really nicely as opposed to certain McFarlane figures. They kind of changed the articulation somewhere. But yeah, you can put the plain old bald Lex Luthor head on the blue suit. And you can put the other one on the green suit. But that doesn't make any sense. Don't do that. And yes, for all you Marvel Legends collectors out there, I'm sure that you could find a Marvel Legends or two that could fit in there. And I'll tell you... In either case, six, seven, eight inch type figure, if they've got a trench coat or a big, thick, non cloth goods cape to them, you're going to have some trouble because, for obvious reasons, yeah, it's going to fight you when moving the legs. But in all honesty, I absolutely love the greens and the purples, Lex Luthor. I love the chair. It's, the blue one is like take it or leave it. It's really not my favorite iteration of anything, Lex Luthor slash Dark Side. It's not a bad figure, but just in terms of two Lex Luthors, I mean, I'm 
kind of cool that they did it. But yeah, that's it's definitely how they get you with saying, eh, maybe not everybody wants this uh, blue L uh, Luthor, but the, we're going to put this sweet chair in there, right? I don't know. It looks good. Either way, I think you'll be happy. The teeny tiny hands, that's kind of a thing, right? Maybe the paint here and there. But in all honesty, I think you're getting two cool figures, especially the green and the purple Luthor. That's an amazing head sculpt on him. And just overall, the articulation and everything else, he looks great. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these new Lex Luthors. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Lex Luthorz, whatever the plural form of Lex Luthor I, right? And thank you again to McFarland Toys for putting up with this and sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, mechanical power suits aside, I'm purely black business suit 80s attire Lex Luthor all the way. Superman the Animated Series. That's my style. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.